My entire political career, the only way I maintained sanity was to have a little humor because, believe me, some of these issues are so difficult. And sometimes you just kind of step back and chuckle a little bit and mm -hmm. then go back at them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this earned income credit uh, issue, which you're going to be having to deal with under the mirror theory of taxation, right. and we're talking about right now the Obama administration, President Obama, uh, wants to you know, increase that contribution. In other words, people would get more money. And, of course, down here it affects our treasury. And you know, as we talked about it before, but a lot of these issues that are going to be interesting as a Democrat, obviously you're going to have to be dealing with what's happening here and what's happening up there. So when you approach these things, how do you plan on approaching them as a Democrat and trying to deal with those up there that are trying in many cases? Because I interviewed the uh, commissioner of finance on it. It was an mm -hmm. ironic interview we had on this thing, and I said, it's really amazing. you got two issues, the earned income credit, and you've got the administration, which I don't think they're going to succeed in because we've had more military conflicts. We're just talking about potential of decreasing the money for the military, which would affect the National Guard down here. So how do you walk that fine line as now you are delegate to Congress sure. and you're there? What, what, how would you approach these? Well, you know, I, I support the administration's positions, mm -hmm. and I think what we in the Virgin Islands really need to do is, one, in two fronts on the federal level. One, become more creative in how we're approaching getting money. Mm -hmm. And the second one is to grow our own economy mm -hmm. so that we can have new revenues coming into our gross receipt, into our general fund, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you have additional gross receipts, you have additional income coming in because you have new businesses, new revenues. Right. That's economic growth. The second way in terms of being more creative in how we're looking at our economy, one of the things I talked to you about before, Holland, mm -hmm. was this whole I idea of adjustment of the federal poverty level. Right. We right. know that there are less Virgin Islanders, which mm -hmm. means that we may get less money um, for the federal poverty level that we're mm -hmm. at that will then generate federal income coming into the Virgin Islands. But if that federal poverty level were adjusted in its entirety, Right. Then that would be an increase. So to what us. would what would be your strategy? The rationale for the yeah. for that um, right. adjustment is the fact that in other jurisdictions, such as Hawaii, mm -hmm. parts of New York, Alaska, because the cost of living is so high, yes. the federal poverty level is set at a different rate. Mm -hmm. Our cost of living is higher than all of those jurisdictions, mm -hmm. but our federal poverty level has not been adjusted for that. Sure. That would bring additional federal monies into the territory which would then be a relief on our general fund. Now, we've done that in one or two areas. Mm -hmm. So we've had an adjustment in our energy. The energy office had an adjustment, which allows it not to go based on population, right. not to be based on a formula. Per kilowatt, right? Right, mm -hmm. because of the unique nature of being in the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. We need to ask for that across the board. Sure. That would open up additional revenues to the Virgin Islands from the federal level, which mm -hmm. are not handouts, which are not... Um, would not be adjustments well, they're, they're, on the on the federal budget, they're, they're helping him, but would be him. helping us. Right. But at that same level, we also, on the federal level, need to be assisting the local government mm -hmm. in trying to find new businesses, mm -hmm. to taking advantage of the programs that we have in place already. Right. In terms of the EDC programs, in terms of the new market tax credits, EB five visa program, there are all these programs that we overqualify for mm -hmm. that we have not been taking advantage of and using the delegates office to assist the local government in trying to bring new businesses to the territory which would bring new jobs mm -hmm. which would also increase the income coming into the federal government mm -hmm. but would also bring in um, corporate income from those companies being here yeah. along with the gross receipts my name is Stacy Plaskett and I'm asking for your support your vote as your delegate to Congress for a greater US Virgin Islands